Nazi spreading around the globe. As leaders are desperate, nobody can tell us where they came from or what they are. We always thought alien life would come from the stars, but it came from deep beneath the sea, a portal between dimensions and the Pacific Ocean. Something out there had discovered us. They counted on the humans to hide, to give up, to fail. Initiating launch operations. Gypsy danger. They never considered our ability to stand, to endure, that we would rise to the challenge. Ready to connect. Let's go fishing. Two pilots engaged in neural bridge. Ready to activate the Jaeger in three, two, one. Edge of our hope. At the end of our time, we have chosen to believe in each other. Today we face the monsters that are at our door. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. sure what to think about Pacific Rim. I think it could either be like amazingly awesome and unique or I think it could maybe miss the mark because of its because it's striving for that uniqueness. Uh, I really liked a lot of the visuals that I saw. I loved the suits, uh, both getting into the, the pilots getting into their suits and I also loved the uh, the shots of the suits dropping into the water. I thought that was really cool and it made me like feel really excited and when this when they have the big robot suit walking through like the city the cityscape I thought that was cool. Um, so I, I think that looks great. Uh, the other the things that concern me though is that one shot when the when the suit arm has to like have a rocket thruster behind it to kind of like accelerate the punch. I think that that's that's cool, but it might slow down the fights. And I don't, you know, what talk about telegraphing your punches. Uh, I think the monster would be like, I, I think you're gonna punch with that arm. I better move. Uh, also, I think it's interesting to go with an alien approach or like a tele. Um, a teleportation portal in the ocean rather than uh, the nuclear or you know man-made monster aspect I feel that's in the or from what I believe is in the kaiju genre which they're which they're doing an homage to here so I think that's an interesting choice and also from what I've seen of the robot uh, I mean the monsters the monsters don't look like they move that fast either or I guess now that actually they're aliens but I you see that classic Guillermo del Toro design which is very cool but for instance when the I guess the kaiju is taking down the bridge in the opening of the trailer. You know, again, awesome destruction, but I don't know if it's going to have the speed that I think modern audiences want. Genre fans uh, of kaiju and Guillermo del Toro might be patient with it, but I don't know if it'll have that mainstream appeal. Uh, and so, and also, I know that there are a lot of very successful animated series where you have pilots of robot suits that do very well, but I feel in some degree for a mainstream audience it might it might make the person feel removed from the action although I thought the, the shot of them running in the suits or walking in the water uh, back in the way they're controlling the suits uh, almost like they're an elliptical cross trainer was pretty cool so I see a lot that I like here I guess my only question is will Guillermo del Toro be able to to pull this off and make a, a, a very genre film that that is something that can have like Transformers appeal, uh, and whether or not it'll be able to get the make back its money. They spent 200 million, I think, at least on this film, so that's always very nerve wracking. But I like what I see. I have to see a second trailer to fully make up my mind. What do you think? Is, is Pacific Rim look uh, like a like a beautiful risk or maybe too much of a risk? Write your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer for the not only the latest trailers but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.